Hi, in this video we will see how we can create a rainbow effect using Canva and I am going to use the Canva free version. So let's get started. At first we need to log in our Canva account and then we need to choose a design. I am going to click this button, choose a design and then I am going to use this size of design which is YouTube thumbnail size and here we are. Once the design space, which is the empty design space is appeared, we'll see a couple of menu options are there on the left side. One of the option is apps. We just need to click here and then it will bring this search box. I just need to type gradient over here. Once I type gradient, then we have to hit enter key or return key of our keyboard. And we'll find this type of options are there. From these options, one of the option is type gradient. We just need to click here and it will be opened like this. If it is for first time, we will see this open button is there. We just need to press this button to open the tool. Once the tool is opened, here we will find one option is there, main text. Here we just need to type our own text. So I am going to remove the text and then I am going to type my text, which is like rainbow effect but you have to type your own text. Once we finish typing our text, we will see a preview on the left corner side of this window. Here the text is appearing on the same line. If we want to separate it, we can press a new line here. I mean, we can insert a new line here by pressing the enter key or return key of our keyboard. So I'm going to create a new line and it should look like two lines. Now let's change the font. To change the font, basically we need to press the font, this arrow button and different fonts will be appeared. Choose your font by selecting that and once the selection is done, basically we just need to press this back button to save it and you will see that font will be applied here. Now let's change the alignment. By default it will be left aligned. If you press this right align button, basically the text will be right aligned and if you want to do middle alignment we just need to press this middle alignment button and we'll see the preview here. If you want to change the line height between these two lines, we can also do the slider to increase or decrease the line height based on our own need. Now the main part, the colorful one, I'm going to click this gradient and then I'm going to choose different colors by selecting from here. One by one, I am choosing the color. We can choose multiple colors like this way and it will be like this way. We'll see a preview but before that I'm going to adjust all the color whatever we need. Now this is the scale basically we are seeing our text will be like this color. So once our selection of color is done like this way by selecting different colors basically whatever we, the color we need or we like we can do that and finally we have to press the add to design button. Here we'll see a preview. Before clicking to that button, let's do a little bit modification. Here we are seeing two dots are there. If we move these two dots, basically we'll see the color variation is there. So I'm going to do the color variation based on our scale selection. So I'm going to move down these two things like this way and I'm positioning these two balls like this way. I mean these two circle and then finally press the button add to design and here you will see that design has been applied to that text and the text is inserted on this white canvas that means the YouTube thumbnail canva canvas which was the design window for our canva. I am going to add a dark background here so I am going to press this elements button on the left side of this canva window I am going to press it here and then I am going to type dark background or background dark whatever you want. Now it will show us different background options. I'm going to press graphics and then I'm choosing on background randomly like this and it will be inserted like that. way. Let's make this image as background. So I'm going to right click and then this type of options will be there. At the bottom we'll find set image as background. I'm going to choose it and then once I select it, the whole image it will be set as background and it will be looking like this. And that's it. In this way we can easily create our rainbow color effect on our text and is very simple by using that type gradient tool. Fully by watching this video you are able to apply any type of rainbow effect on your desired text. Thank you guys for watching the video.